Let's talk about the factors you can weigh when you're choosing a live webinar provider. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the features and then following that I will actually give you a list of webinar providers and a rundown of how I think the, uh, they really meet the needs of the market. Uh, and, and first of all, you know, you can go to any of those providers and, and take a look at the presentations. Um, try to be a participant in a webinar uh, that uh, that any of these folks are doing. So when you have an opportunity to be an attendee, uh, you know, look at the webinar from the viewpoint of an attendee and see how it feels. You know how, you know how is it? How easy is it, is it to interact? You know how easy is it to to sign up for a webinar? How easy is it to uh, you know collect materials that people share? At a webinar, how reliable are the are the alerts? How uh, reliable are the delivery systems? And uh, and if you have a real real good feeling about a particular type of a platform, that's going to give you a clue about something that will be easy to work with as a presenter and something that will position you as a professional uh, when you start doing webinars. Um, ask to, uh, to to see a demo and ask actually to be able to participate in a demonstration as a presenter. There should be some type of facility at, uh, at all of these platforms that let you take the controls before you make a commitment to actually purchase the platform. Uh, you know, take a look at the Q&As. If there's a forum on the platform, see what other people are saying, see what types of questions people are asking. Uh, when you measure the questions, see how responsive the, uh, the, the community moderators are to the questions in the forum. And if you have questions there yourself, ask them. Um, if you ask a question, see how long it takes for people to get back to you, whether that is in a forum or with email. That's very, very important. Um, online collaboration is important. There are different levels of online collaboration with, with webinars. The most popular type of collaborative uh, activity is sharing control passing the mouse back and forth between presenters, uh, having an organizer who can make another person an organizer, being able to share controls and being able to move from one computer to another to, uh, to different desktop applications. That, if that is a very, very important thing for you to be able to do, then that is something that you want to take a look at and try and engage somebody uh, you know, within your sphere or within your team to work with you and, and, and check it out. Uh, price, of course, price is going to be very, very important. Uh, and everybody has to, uh, you know, take a look at your budget. What is your budget and, and how is this number reflected? You may not have a number, a line item on your budget right now for webinars, but if you have a line in your budget for marketing and advertising, then this can easily fall within that. So see, uh, what your budget is. Are you budgeting your lead generation in terms of cost per lead? Uh, do you have an overall number? You know, what does that look like and how does that relate? Take a look at that. Uh, you know, what is the return on investment? Uh, when you're looking at the platforms, uh, you know, a good question to ask is, uh, is about training. Is the training included with your purchase? Is there some level of one-on-one -on -one training or group training or is all of the training online? And if you need help, what can you do about that to get, to get the extra help? That's a very, very good question to ask any of the uh, webinar providers. And is it scalable? You know, you may start with a very, very small platform uh, and, uh, you know, let's just take a look at uh, GoToWebinar as an example. If you start with, with your GoToMeeting platform that may give you 25 seats, uh, you may, you know, be very, very happy and you may go for a long time. You may work for a long time with very, very small groups and that may be absolutely fine. But if your audience grows, if your business grows, if you need something that's scalable that you can, uh, that you can, uh, expand, you know, how, how does that work? You know, take a look and ask your webinar provider, you know, exactly how that, how that works in your, in your business and, and what the prices are that are attached to additional seats. How easy is it to use? This is very, very important. It, 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 webinars are pretty easy. You don't really have, need a whole lot of uh, advanced tech savvy, but you, 
you know, who is using it and what is the level of expertise of the people who are going to be organizing, setting it up and presenting? Are you going to be presenting, you know, and what is your, your you know, your level of, of expertise? Um, it, some of the platforms are very, very intuitive and easy. Uh, some of them, you know, have a lot of hiccups. Again, you really, really want to get behind the wheels and try anything, uh, even just to demonstrate it to yourself before you make a final commitment. Customer support is very, very important. Uh, is it included? That's a good question to ask. Uh, some people will include support, or some webinar companies will include support uh, across the board, some of them have support at different price points and some of them have different levels of support. Uh, what are your must-haves in terms of the features? Make a list of your must-haves and make sure that the uh, the platform that you decide to, uh, to work with has all of that. And also double check and make sure that, uh, that they have the security that you need for the type of uh, of, of webinars you're going to do, whether those are sales webinars or training webinars, meeting webinars, uh, you know, security is very, very important. Let's go over the list now. Let's talk about some of the leading platforms and, and, and how they work. GoToWebinar is the one I think most people are familiar with in the real estate industry because that's the one most real estate vendors and most real estate trainers are using. GoToWebinar lets you really scale a large audience. It lets you talk to a very, very large audience. You can get GoToWebinar platforms starting at about 50 seats to 100 seats to 500 seats to 1,000 seats and, and more. Of course, the price is going to increase and, uh, and go up you know, with more seats, but it's very, very scalable. It's the one that most people use. Uh, GoToWebinar has had a little bit of a checkered history, it, uh, but, but they, they are really, really coming along. They've, they've done some really, really great stuff. They have a sister platform uh, called GoToMeeting that is designed for smaller groups, um, up to 25 or so. Very, very cost effective. You can use them for meetings. You can use them for, for trainings. And if you have the kind of a webinar outreach program with consumers that really is only going to have small groups, then go to meeting may be all you actually need uh, moving forward. WebEx has been the gold standard of webinar training and uh, webinar platforms forever. Uh, for a long time, WebEx was really uh, cost prohibitive and that was the biggest problem because they never really had a problem in terms of quality. Um, this is a global company. They have all the bells and whistles, and uh, and right now we're working. I'm working with a beta program uh, for WebEx that is very, very promising. Uh, great for recordings. Very, very reliable. Very easy to use, and uh, definitely worth checking it out. Um, Yugma has a free platform and a paid platform. Yugma has a free plat platform for small use, and uh, and it's it's kind of a neat. Uh, uh, a neat uh, tool. Um, the problem I had I had for a long time really was reliability. So I don't think the free platform is something you want to use if you're going to be you know doing anything that's really important because you can't afford for it to be going down. Um, I found reliability not to be a good issue. The other problem with Yugma was the recording. They really haven't. Uh, evolve with your recording. However, it's a, it's it is neat. Uh, they also have a very very nice interface with Skype, and you might want to check it out just for the heck of it. Um, you know, I, I they've been around for a long time. I confess I haven't you know played with it recently. Uh, I've been I've been very very busy, but it definitely is worth something to look worth worth looking at. Live Meeting is a Microsoft product. I see Live Meeting mostly in the government arena. I see some of the government agencies using Live Meeting on a uh, on a large scale with very, very big audiences. They seem to do a really good job with, uh, um, with recordings. They are very good with, uh, you know, with live presentations. Um, incidentally, go to webinar, go to meeting, WebEx and Yugma will let you work with PowerPoint presentation, uh, with the animations that you see and with, um, uh, live on the web, uh, presentations. You go live on the web. Um, the, when I talk about animations, I'm actually talking about, you know, uh, bulleted wet points that come in one at a time, uh, you know, a little bit of flash here and there, you know, some uh, uh, 
animations with illustrations and pictures and things like that. So that, that's, that's kind of neat. Um, Any Meeting is a free platform. Uh, I mention that because I see some popular coaches and uh, vendors in real estate starting to use that. They have a free version and a paid version. The free version is actually good for as many as 200 people in a setting. Uh, and, and it seems to work very, very well and very, very good recording uh, uh, abilities. The problem that I see with that is that it is supported by advertising. And I just have, uh, you know, I just have to wonder how professional it really looks to be doing a, a webinar um, and a large webinar on a free platform that is very obviously a free platform. You know, it, it make, I think it makes a statement. I'm not sure that's the wisest thing to do. However, it is real, it's, a, it's a neat platform and they do a really, really good job even with a large group. So if that's something that doesn't trouble you, then, then you probably want to take a look at that. Um, Instant Teleseminar is another really good platform, and uh, it's very, very cost uh, cost competitive. It's uh, very easy to use. It, it, of all of them, I think that Instant Teleseminar may be the easiest to use. Um, it it works with uh, PowerPoint presentations or other documents that you upload to the web first prior to the uh, the actual event. Uh, so you cannot use PowerPoint with animations and you can't go live on the web. They offer instant playback. Uh, they also have a corresponding teleseminar program. Some people use that, you know, mostly for the teleseminar use. Uh, as soon as a uh, presentation is finished, it, it's live and it's very, very, uh, very, very good. So that may be something you want to take a look at. Um, there's actually a workaround to the animation issue that used to trouble me when I was using it, the fact that I couldn't uh, work, make my animations work, but I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I'll do a quick uh, quick video that shows you a workaround to the instant teleseminar lack of animation uh, with, with a PowerPoint. Uh, Skype. Yeah, you know, Skype is, uh, is, a, is an interesting platform. Skype gives you the ability to have group meetings um, and if you're going to be doing small presentations that aren't real, real big, you might want to like just give it a shot. Um, Skype gets a little squirrely sometimes, and even when you have a really, really good connection or you think you have a good connection, you know things happen. And and Skype is not perfect, but I think that uh, you you can expect some forgiveness from your audience who are Skype users because everybody who uses Skype understands that Skype has some issues. So it may be something that you want to use as an experiment. Um, additionally, Skype and Yugma have a uh, have an interface, and they work very, very well together. Sometimes, when they work well, that's dynamite. I think you know that, that's a platform that Oprah was using. That combination of Yugma Skype, some time ago when she was doing that uh, book club or whatever she was doing online, she had an enormous audience, and that was a Skype Yugma uh, configuration. So that that's something to take a look at. Um, and uh, and again, that's you know that's it. There's one more, and that would be Google Plus. And Google Plus lets you do Hangouts, uh, so you can actually go and uh, and hang out in Google Plus, and and give that a shot and see how that looks. Uh, so that there you go. I'm going to have links to everything down below, uh, below the video. So you, if you want to try any of these, uh, let me know how how it works out. Uh, if you have a you know a place to leave comments, uh, if this is uh, appearing in, I'm going to be posting this in a couple of different places. So if this is appearing somewhere where you can leave a comment and you find something interesting on one of these platforms, and uh, you would be kind enough to share it with us, we would sure appreciate it a whole lot. Thanks a lot.